What is antigen retrieval, and why is it so important for IHC? I'm Abby Wells. And I'm Franny Ambrose. We are both research associates in the Immunohistochemistry Group at Cell Signaling Technology. And this is CSD Tech Tips. Antigen retrieval, also known as AR, is one of the factors that can influence the strength of staining obtained in IHC. AR may be accomplished by treating the sample with either heat or enzymes. In this video, we'll focus on heat-induced epitope retrieval, or HIER for short. Antigen retrieval takes place after deparaffinization of the sample and before the addition of antibodies to detect the target proteins. AR removes the crosslinks formed as a result of aldehyde-based fixation and unwinds a protein's secondary and tertiary structure, making epitopes accessible to detection by antibodies. This can be particularly important for epitopes buried deep in the protein structure. In your standard HIER protocol, samples are submerged in a buffer and boiled for a period of time, usually 10 to 20 minutes. Heating methods commonly used include a water bath, microwave, or pressure cooker. The level of retrieval can vary among these methods, with water bath being the least effective and pressure cooker being the most effective. CSP's IHC protocol recommends using a microwave, which is effective for antigen retrieval, and you probably have one in your lab. A common question we get is what unmasking buffer should I use for antigen retrieval? Many antibodies will work well with antigen retrieval performed with citrate buffer. Often with EDTA, you will observe increased signals, but possibly increased background as well. Antibodies that work with citrate buffer are likely to also work with EDTA, but may require further optimization in order to achieve the best signal-to-noise ratio. Conversely, if an antibody requires EDTA for retrieval, it is unlikely to work well with citrate. The antigen retrieval buffer that we recommend with our products can be found on the product's data sheet. Make your 1x citrate or EDTA and fill your container with 250 mL of that buffer. Fill any empty slots in your slide holder with blank slides. This will ensure that the buffer and heat distribution is consistent between experiments. Leave the lid slightly cracked to allow pressure to escape as this ensures the buffer does not boil over and expose the top of your slides. Also, overheating slides can cause a loss of buffer which may result in tissues drying out. This can yield false negative results. A common misstep in antigen retrieval is aggressive boiling that can cause tissue to detach from the slide. To optimize microwave time and power, we suggest performing a trial run. Use 24 blank slides in 250 mL of buffer and determine how long it takes to reach the initial boil. Next, determine the power level needed to maintain a subboiling temperature for 8 to 10 minutes. Once you have established the conditions for your microwave, Perform the retrieval the same way each time, always using the same amount of buffer with empty slots occupied by blank slides. You can find full application-specific protocols for each antibody on its product page at CellSignal.com. If you have any questions about an antibody or a protocol, you can get in touch with one of our scientists at CellSignal.com support. And for more Tech Tips videos, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Good luck with your experiments!